Happy day, friends. It's been a day. Mom can't have coffee today, at least this morning, and it is killing me. Should yeah, probably I come back. And there's a bug. We are waiting patiently for Micah's turn on the swing, and she's talking to a bug, seeing if he wants to play, asking why he's moving so slow. All the important questions. What did we decide? Here's my friend Bug. What? It's my friend Bug. Where's your friend Bug? He's crawling over here. Uh, right there. Really. See? Beetles are all coming out. He's a beetle. Why are all these beetles coming out? They, it's because it's getting warmer outside. And the bugs start to come out. Maybe that's why they want to come out. Yeah, because it's getting warmer. And you hear the birds too? The birds are starting to come out. And it's almost springtime. If all the snow comes out, they might go away. The, you're right. If all the snow comes out, they will probably go away again. Yeah, if they want to play in the snow. <laughs> well, they might want to play in the snow. That might be too cold for a bug. Because bugs can't wear coats. No. No. Maybe we can get a little coat for that. Are you going to make a little coat for him? Yeah. Okay, that's a great idea. <laughs> okay, so Micah is acting like a nine-year-old now and Paige is definitely acting like a two-year-old. Today was not the right day for me to not be able to have coffee and I'll explain why. It's because I'm, I'm getting my eyebrows uh, touched up today and you're not supposed to have coffee because it will make you bleed more or something like that. So, <laughs> so I opted. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it might be worth it today. I am I'm a little sluggish but uh, I sat there with my decaf while Paige had her tantrum and it was fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. So we decided to just come outside because I think the fresh air is going to benefit everybody. And I think she's already a little happier. Well, Although she, she, she goes through these spurts, we know this. Yeah. You see another bug under the trampoline? Yeah. Oh, that one looks dead. Yeah. He must have gotten too cold. Maybe he's hurt. Maybe he is really hurt. <laughs> what do we do with him? How about we flip him over? <laughs> you want to flip him over? Okay, mommy will do that. Mommy will flip him over. Okay. Oh, he is alive. <laughs> wow. Micah, you're right. He was just hurt. <laughs> you saved him. Now he's going to get better Is over here. Is that a fly? Yeah, it's a fly. He must have froze overnight, but not to the point of death. And so... Oh, I see him. Oh, he flipped over on his own in the cup again. I'm going to put him right there. Wow. See him? Yeah. I think you're right. He was hurt. I'm going to put him in the grass. Okay. So he can hopefully feel better. Okay, you're on your own now. I'm not taking care of a fly. Hey, Micah. <laughs> I've got a question for you. So a beetle has six legs, but if you were to make him a jacket, how many of those legs would it cover? Would it cover two legs, four legs, or all six legs? Or does he wear pants too? And do the pants cover only two legs or do those cover multiple legs? So many questions. The world may never know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, Dad. Are you feeling better, Paige? Yeah, mm-hmm. Good, I'm glad. Makes me happy. For a minute. <laughs> Micah is making a bed for her bugs so that they can sleep in there at night and then she'll ride them around when they're sleeping, right? Are you still having fun, Paige? I think you just need a quiet day. I think she really just needs quiet yeah. time. I don't she know what just... your parents did. <laughs> Both the kiddos are just not. <laughs> they stayed at my parents for two nights and they came back and they were just like, woo, something else. Hug attack. hug attack. Is there another hug attack coming? Hug attack. Hug attack. Oh, I 
and maybe they just needed some daddy time. Daddy time outside. The outside time, yeah. Fresh air, daddy time. I get it, guys. I, I get, get it. That. I get that. Who wants to go to a restaurant? Me. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hair. Mom, I said I don't Oh, the oh. page is ready to go, I guess. <laughs> she, she was a silent yes. <laughs> she's she's e either silent or screaming today. <laughs> there, okay. Well, we were having fun. Why, why did the fun end? Because it's lunch time. What time is it? It's time for lunch. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We can't afford lunch now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gas costs too much. <laughs> Woo, all right. McDonald's it is. <laughs> Dollar, dollar menu. store. <laughs> Even the dollar menu is too much now. Now it's two dollar menu. <laughs> You're gonna do this trust for us? Here you go. There's another one. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look how cute our kids are. Micah grabbed both of their drinks when they were brought out and she just opened the straws and gave paint hers and they don't need us anymore. <laughs> All they need is our money. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see if you learned. No, Thank you. You're gonna spill it. You're gonna spill it. Whose is that one? Yeah, that's me. Oh. Thanks, Micah. Five, dude. <laughs> so these little babies, honestly, like I still think they look pretty dang good. I'm pretty impressed with how they've held up for an entire year. Um, minus maybe this little spot right here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I thought those dark lines were wrinkles. Oh I was no. like, what happened to my face? <laughs> what happened? Nope. Just the, the mapping string. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that at all? I did not. I didn't even, even realize you did anything. It's real numb then. Yay. <laughs> was there much bleeding this time? Mm -mm, like okay. none. I didn't realize, guys, that the whole time I was out grocery shopping, I had like ink stuff smeared across my face, and I didn't notice, but my bank has pretty much covered it up. Not that I really care. Um, I don't get embarrassed easily, so it's, it's not something I really worry about. But while I was out, Austin was working out all the details for Happy Day Apparel. Uh, we have a new release coming up soon. I showed you guys this nice gold zip up hoodie and I'll try it on in just a second. But it is the same fabric as our blush hoodie. It will have the same happy day embroidered um, right here and it's super comfortable. If you guys have the blush hoodie, you know it's a great lightweight sweater, uh, sweatshirt, whatever you wanna call it. But Austin worked out all the details so we are gonna offer a pre-order as we get things moving on it. Pre-orders really help us gauge what sizes to get, um, how many of you are interested in them, and it just helps us put our money in the right places. We're a small business, we don't have all the money in the world to just throw at a ton of products. So when we order these, a pre-order really helps us know what sizes to get and how many of them to get. So I'll put the link down below, all the details are there um, about the pre-order, it should take Probably a little over two weeks to get it all done. Uh, I mean, we're well, probably more realistically three. Three weeks? Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll put our most accurate guess down below next to the link. But that's what a pre-order is. It's ordering them before we actually have them in stock. But it will be like this. Oh, let me try it on for you guys. Paige's got it um, on. <laughs> Paige, well, except it's, it's, it's on backwards on Paige. You look like See? a baby Yoda. See, it's a zipper in the back. <laughs> You look like a baby Yoda. Aww. So it's got the dual drawstrings. It is the terry cloth on the inside, um, just like our, our blush hoodie, if you guys have one of those. And the happy day will be embroidered in the same spot as our blush hoodie as well, right across here, just a simple, cute, um, embroidered design. And I have an extra small on. So my blush hoodie is a small, and I feel like it fits me pretty well. Arguably a little bit baggy. Um, but I definitely sized down to an extra small this time. So if you like a baggy fit, stick with your normal size. This to me is still a little bit big, um, but I kind of like the oversized look right now. So use your best judgment. Um, you may want to size down um, if you are short like me. 
and I know it's not a lot, but we are going to offer 5% discount for any pre-order um, as just a little thank you for helping us gauge how many and what size to get. Um, we thank you guys for your support as always. And the Cup of Happy is back in stock. Uh, we, we restocked the mugs and honestly, I'm super excited that they're kind of just in time for this because it looks so cute together. But all the information is down in the description and we thank you guys, all of you, for making a pre-order pre or if you have ever supported our shop in any way, shape, or form, thank you so much. On a less fun note, we have an update on the house that literally felt like a punch to the gut. <laughs> they came back with an estimated cost and it ended up being over 10% of what we wanted to spend. We talked about it and we feel like that puts it just out of our price range. We're not comfortable spending what they they kind of estimated, to, estimated it to be, but Austin seems to think that maybe they were like shooting high. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know, because they don't have, Here's the thing, they don't have a final cost yet. It was just like, yeah. oh, it's probably gonna be around this. They don't have the lumber yet. They just, they don't know what the final cost is. It was yeah. kind of a guess. So we're still kind of waiting to see. Um, yeah. You know, if it does end up being that much, that will just be too bad and we will have to look elsewhere. But where we've kind of agreed that, well, if we have to have a baby in this house, then so be it. And at that point, really again what's the real rush because <laughs> that's why we wanted to move in the first place was for the baby well, yeah but, more so mm. i just didn't want to have to move while I you were pregnant. extremely pregnant and here and here's what where i want you guys to let us know down in the comments because i can hope and pray that one of you used to work or currently works for a builder um or maybe like has a significant other who is a salesperson for a builder do they shoot high do they sh ever play games I because know. i feel like we're enough we're far enough out on the house that he's trying to gauge how much we can spend if that makes sense so he's like sh i feel like he's shooting high I and mean, i haven't been a part of the conversation so, but i feel like it would be the opposite like they they try to tell you that it's a okay. good price and then they end up raising it because, oh, well, there's this and this and this. But and this, here's the know? thing is, like, the market, especially here in Utah, is on fire. Outrageous. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Again, I'm holding just... on to the littlest sliver of hope. Yeah, I that, mean. Because a lot of the houses in the same neighborhood, um, the ones that have sold recently, like within weeks, have been within our price range. Yeah. And we know that this house is gonna be the same build as some of the other houses. So unless they're planning on doing like some real fancy updates, I don't see how it would be that yeah. much more. They can almost name their price because someone will someone buy it. Someone will buy it, which is the unfortunate part which is for us. Like, oh man, so it's all, it almost puts us in the position where if like we really want this house, we're just gonna need to bite the bullet if we can afford it. And I don't know. I, I hope you guys can provide us with some better insight down in the comments. That'd be awesome. Yes. I just, I don't know what to believe. And I don't feel like there's a, a rush anymore. So we just have to keep looking and, and find the right house. Because this house, the layout was really perfect for what we needed as well, far as work. Well, it still is. No, it is. Yeah. It is. But unless we find something that suits all our needs, I feel like we're just going to be here. <laughs> until we find the house good enough. Because <laughs> I don't want to move into a house that doesn't quite suit us if we're already going to do the three babies in this house. You know, I don't want to move We somewhere. better not, guys. I don't I... want to move somewhere just <laughs> to have a little bit more room that doesn't actually suit our needs. We're... I'd rather suck it up in this house. Maybe by that time, we'll have saved enough money to actually buy the dang house. <laughs> we're lit our house is over over its maximum capacity as far as I can't even fit my items. pasta in the pantry, you guys. It's all on the counter. There's just no more room. We're, we are past maximum capacity. Without I can't, being so cluttered that it drives us out of our minds. Oh my gosh, it's beyond cluttered now. Look at all the supplements that we have up on the freaking shelf. Yeah, my first form obsession is <laughs> wild. <laughs> 
I got like seven different protein flavors that I use pretty regularly. <sighs> oh boy. I don't know. All right. Well, if you're going to go to yoga, you better hurry and get ready. Yes, I, I need to get going. <laughs> I need I need this more for mental than I do for physical yeah. right now. The kids uh, have been rough. They've just been a little a little wild. <laughs> Who doggies? And I forgot to mention, you guys, the benefit of a pre-order is not only the 5% off, but you are guaranteed to get your size if you want it. Um, we will be ordering extra stock um, above what is pre-ordered but it will be limited. We don't know exactly what sizes to get, so that's where the guessing comes in on our part. Um, but if you pre-order, you are guaranteed to get what you order. Otherwise, if you wait, it might run out. So I just wanted to give you guys that heads up. A little bit of ice cream with blueberries for a nighttime snack. That's pretty special. You're almost done. Is that pretty yummy? Delicious? <laughs> Austin told Micah that we may be able to go to the ice cream store today, but we didn't make it. Um, so we compromised and the girls get a little bit of ice cream before bed tonight. And I'm hoping, since I especially am putting the girls to bed by myself, I'm hoping that this doesn't send them on a sugar rush spiraling out of control and into temper tantrums before bed. Tell dad have fun at yoga. Have fun at yoga. <laughs> have fun at yoga. Do you want to show me your tree pose? Oh, that's right. Show me how to do tree pose. Micah has been showing us some things she learns at school. It, it kind of makes me sad because I feel like she learns so much at school. She does. And I don't teach her anything. Okay, show me. <laughs> you don't you teach her things. Wow. wow. Good tree pose. That is some good balancing. Look, look at my tree pose. Wow. Daddy has a good tree too. Bye, little one. Go to sleep, get lots of rest, and be in a better mood tomorrow, okay? You know I just gave them ice cream because we never made it to the ice cream store. <sighs> Should have just baited them with it tomorrow morning. No. no. Bye. What are you doing? Did you hear her? She's being a not daddy's girl today. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. You're cute, pig. Oh, bong. <laughs> Bong! <laughs> Silly dad! Silly dad! 7.30 girls are in bed. Hopefully Micah doesn't ask me for anything else. It was water and then a hangnail and then a prayer and then it's just one thing after another. But 7.30, they are in bed. I'm in my jammies already. I'm gonna be hopefully getting an early bedtime. I've been tired lately dealing with all the stuff that I've been dealing with. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today and we will see you next time. Bye friends!